function. Has lots of different backfalls. So if Eric plays on the grate, let's have him play on the swell. Okay, you can see the various backfalls that are connected to the keys, the swell keys moving here. And they're connected to these backfalls. This one in particular. Play the low C, Eric. And that backfall carries the motion right back to the back of the organ here. And then this tracker then extends all the way up to the top of the organ. It's the swell. The swell okay. This one's the, pos uh, the great, and then this one's the positive. So if we pull on the... Let's pull on the uh, positive here. You can see the positive wires in the middle of the system are moving here. Can you back up just a hair to let the light get on there? Well, how about if you ah, do this? Okay. See how I pull, I'm pushing two notes. Oh, that's you. Okay. Yeah. Now, if Eric pulls on the pedal, the swell to pedal coupler, or the uh, positive to pedal, sorry. Positive to pedal. There you go. They do do it again. To, oh. yeah, see how those backfalls? The pivot point moves up and down, and so therefore, when you play a pedal note, then it lifts up on that wire and plays a manual note. So if the if if he plays the note, turns the coupler on and off. You see how. When it's off, it has no effect, but when it's on, it pushes up on the wire. Oh, So that enables okay. the pedal to play the positive or manual division, depending on which coupler's on. And over at the side, you can see the stop action for the couplers. How that pushes this lever down, which pivots, pushes the pivot point of the backfall up, and when it's on, it's in a very precise, locked position. Keep doing that, Eric, and I'm going to get the other. Okay. My goodness. There's a lot going on. Yeah. Let me just move the nut. Oh, so once you put all those in there, there's just a matter of screwing them up and down. Mm hmm so they all hit at the same time, mm -hmm. okay. Oh, so that's why on that, what do you call the, the back? Backfall, they're called backfall. backfalls. Yeah. And they're just strips of uh, pieces so, of wood that pivot at a certain point. So like that one that I'm looking at, it's got two wires coming through the middle of it. Yeah, but this is only attached to one. You're talking about this one. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. There's a row of wires here for each keyboard. And this back one is the uh, positive. And this next one is the... Let's see. It's the grade. And then this one is the swell. So some of these backfalls have to go through the other wires, so they, they've just got slots there. That That's for the coupler. The wires go through, store. so those slots just are pass-through slots. Okay. They don't do anything. It's a matter of figuring out where you want stuff to... Uh, to so how do the, the manual... Is Eric still there? Can show us where the manual, like where the swell couples to the grate? Can do it. It's not so easy to see because the fronts of them are moving. So we can go around to the front and look at that. Okay, let's do that. Pull this coupler on. It's positive to great. You can see the backfalls go up and down. So if it's off, I play the great, nothing happens. 
but if I pull it on, see how it's pulling that back fall. That back fall is connected to the positive. And up here we can see it's not working. No, it's working. Okay, let me see if I can get back key, and see both of them. Key move up here. I got the key. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. So that enables the divisions all to play together. So you were pressing on the grate, and that was pulling down the positive. Mm -hmm. Positive. Mm-hmm. And we can move the swell one, which is here. So now the great wire pushes on the swell and the positive backfall. A couple of backfall. And all three of those keys, okay. Mm -hmm. I know it's sounds like a simple explanation to you, but that is just too amazing. Do that one more time where you oh, I see the Okay, so that coupler allows all three of the keyboards. Mm -hmm. Okay. And those are the As you can see, this is the poster announcing the inaugural recital for Saturday, April 17th at 7 p.m. with our organist here at St. Philip, Matthew Durst.